And whoa, no, I don't use that as my primary device. So we're going to try Agarest Generations of War or Record of Agarest War as our next stream game, which I'm very unsure of whether or not I want to do this one, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's begin. This is the normal mode. Selecting this mode does not change the story, with the exception of certain things. So it does change the story, apparently. Such as gold and PP. You may carry over items earned while playing when starting a new game. Items earned while playing in normal mode can be carried over when starting a new game in easy or normal mode, provided you have beaten the game in normal mode. Okay, we have to select DLC. Use this option to disable any purchased downloadable content. Please know that this will only affect this new game. Once started, you will not be able to enable the content until you start another new game. Oh, I have a whole bunch of stuff that apparently is just downloadable. Um... I don't know... Like... I sort of want to use all the downloadable stuff. So... But it looks like it's gonna give me a massively unfair advantage. Ah, who cares? Let's go. We're going for it. We'll start with a massively unfair advantage, and we just backed out all the way, because we're good at, at video game menus. Alright, we're starting officially now. Look at all this stuff I got just for being me. It's because I'm awesome. Adaka! The shield sword! I'm going to be a shield and a sword. Light heal, harvest heal, cure all. Eh? I feel like this is just going to break the game. I should probably undo this. Yeah, this looks like it's going to make it too easy. I should do this like on a new game plus or something. I just sort of want to back out of this at this point now. Okay, so we are going to remove all of the... DLC. I believe all we'll end up with are the extra dungeons at this point. So, we'll go with normal, we'll start the game, we'll actually see what the game must offer. Dungeon add ons, it's cool. It was a time without light or darkness, day or night. This is the story of the creators of ancient times. Maestro, the god of wisdom, Mercury, the guardian god, Arumana, the god of mercy. Way too many gods for me to read. They were twelve gods created from one body. These twelve gods were to be the crucible of the universe. They would be twelve seeds of a new world, Agarest. A perfect world shaped by the gods into a paradise that reflected their divine nature. But it was not to be. I feel like the movie sounds a bit loud, I apologize. I will turn it down in the future. A war of darkness and light split the cosmos. And an imperfect world came into being. this imbalance, a dark malevolent force was born. It worshipped and desired the darkness and created monsters, creatures who wished only to become one with the darkness. The war brought chaos to this new world. The gods brought their true strength to bear. War that had split the world came to an end as they fell silent, hoping to save the world from destruction. But not Summerin, the Lord of Darkness. The Dark Lord called to him corrupted creatures known as the Gurns as well as monsters born of vicious and evil desires, known as the forces of darkness. The 
Summerell's evil woke the gods of light from their slumber, and they awoke full of righteous fury. War once again fell upon the world as light clashed with darkness. Three times Summerell was defeated, but always he returned. Many of the races of the world were destroyed by the war. Eventually, the power unleashed by the gods was too much, and the world itself was torn asunder. As the world crumbled, the six gods who had survived bowed their heads and mourned the lives lost to darkness and war. For seven days and nights, their tears falling like rain. With their tears, life returned to the world, and in a final act of sacrifice, the six gods gave their lives to return the lost races to the world. Agarest lived anew. With the death of the gods, the age of myth was at an end. Thousands upon thousands of years passed, and in time, the gods themselves were forgotten. Agarest was bathed in light with darkness given domain only during the hours of night when most of the creatures of the world were asleep. But now the darkness spreads once more. Its icy tendrils stretch across a world ignorant of their power and may soon cover it once again. Okay, so we get to watch us get owned again here by this Dark Knight or whatever it is. He's healed for 11,999. Okay, yeah, no, we're, we, we definitely got wrecked there. In pretty spectacular fashion. Pretty sure he said, Ow, that hurt, you jerk. That, that That's a literal translation. Hart. Len Leonhart. It's a terrible name for me to say. Leonhart. Lenart. So call him Lenny. Or Leon. Let's call him Leon. The old triple dot? What? What was that? It is something to miss, Leon. The troops are ready. They await your orders. It's Casibal. Eh? Oh. Are you alright, sir? You've been pale of late and sickly. The men are concerned. I suppose an ill leader is an ill omen to anyone. My mind is restless these days. It keeps me awake at night. I have had little sleep these past weeks. All men are restless before battle, sir. Hmm. Casibal, is this battle really necessary? It's necessary... It's necessity is none of our concern. We have orders to do battle, therefore, we shall. Are orders all that matter to a soldier? Can we not wonder what they mean? I wouldn't know, sir, but I'm a soldier myself. I have never given it much thought. If we do not fight now, then many more will suffer. Isn't that reason enough? So these men must die so that others may live. Yes. Well, I suppose it is human destiny to take the lives of others to find what we desire. Casabal, give the order to move out. We march to war. You tell him, Leon. You tell him. Let's learn how to fight, folks. Combat training. Do you want to learn about the move phase? Yeah, I do. About the move phase. You can move your characters during the move phase. Who'd have thought? The characters in blue squares are your allies, while the ones in red are your enemies. You'll control them in the order shown on the top part of the screen. Characters with higher agility will take their turn sooner. The maximum distance they can move depends on their individual move stat. But one AP action point is required for each square they move. You can see your character's current AP on the upper left side of the screen. You can also opt to not move, so plan accordingly. Once you set your character's destination, you can choose what direction they will face. After that, you'll continue on to the next character. 
Confirmation message will display when you finish moving everyone. Selecting yes will end the move phase, and all your characters will move at the same time. You can cancel any decision before the end of the move phase. You can view a character's movement range by highlighting them. It's a good idea to keep both the turn order and the movement range in mind at all times. Yeah, that's one of the weird things about this. Alright, so, from what I recall in the past, these different squares, if you have people standing in them when it's your time to go, so like if we moved here, we wouldn't be able to do it. We'd have to like move here, and then we could have somebody there, and somebody there, we'd have somebody here, somebody here, and then somebody there. And essentially it lets you link. As you see there, there's a link between Leon and Grid Gridamas soldier. So kinda wanna go with those link things. I don't remember everything there is to know about that, but that's okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna actually move. Oh boy. Okay, so we're gonna move there. And I am going to move you here. Hmm. Maybe I move here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. And you. I will move here. You, I will move here. And you, oops, and you, I will move here. But, as you see, things kind of all, they kind of move too, so it can definitely screw you up a little bit. Combat training, do you want to learn about the action phase? I do. About the action phase. After the move phase ends, the action phase begins. Here, the turn, or turn order is determined by the character's agility and remaining AP. So even if someone has low agility, you can make them act sooner by saving AP. Oh, okay. We have an esoteric book? I don't even know what that means. We could stand by or we could use a skill. How about training? Do you want to learn about skills? I do. After selecting a command in the skill menu, you can pick your target. However, the area you can select is based on a particular skill's range. Okay, it's legit. Select an enemy who's in range to perform an offensive skill. Likewise, select a party member who's in range to use a supportive skill like heal. Activation of a skill requires a certain amount of AP, which are shown on the right side of the window. Okay. As long as you have enough AP, you can activate a series of skills. In addition, arts will be activated if you use certain skills in order. Arts are more effective than normal skills. If you activate them in a battle, they'll be displayed in a tree on the right side of the window. Okay. It won't be displayed if a tree or in a tree the first time, but it will afterward. Power attack and double edge. You can learn more about which skills unlock arts by obtaining the secret arts books. Is there a way to... Is there a way to adjust the camera angle? I feel like there should be. Alright, we're gonna take on you. Power attack and then double edge. Okay. And then we can attack the same target. We'll do just a single double edge. And we'll do a rush. Yeah, I think that's fine. Alright, let's see how this all plays out. Fairly okay damage there. And now we have broken and overkilled him. And now we're going like severe overkill. Leon took down the Frontier Soldier and got some stuff. Overkilled and got some silver ore. The unfortunate thing, combat training, do you want to learn about standing by? Sure. Hey Kara, what's going on? 
So I'd stand by to skip that character's turn and proceed to the next one. Yep, unless all enemies or all party members are defeated, the turn will end and the game will proceed to the next move phase. Any unused AP will carry over to the character's next turn. You choose to either use your available AP or save your AP for the next turn. If you want to use many skills at once, make your characters and make your characters act sooner. Or to use a skill that requires a large amount of AP, you should save your AP so it carries over to the next turn. The max amount of AP that you can carry over to the next turn is the max AP of the character times two. You can't carry over any AP that exceeds that limit. Yeah, I'm still not sold on whether or not I want to do this one here, play this game for the full stream, but eh, maybe, we'll see. I'll stand by with him and see what we can get done. Alright, we're going to take a little bit of a beating here. Shouldn't be too, too bad. Actually, let's move here and attack you from behind. Move there. Yeah, I guess that's fine. I don't know where they're going to move to, and that always worries me. Oh, good, I, I chose correctly. Nice. Okay, so... Let's use a skill. We'll use... Rush Blast, I guess? Rush, Blast, and then Double Edge. Yeah, let's try that. Comes Blast. And we broke him. And then Double Edge will finish him. And it's an overkill. Very nice. Alright, we got some grass. Oh. And some silver ore. Okay. Silver ore. You shall standeth by. You shall standeth by as well. I think. Probably. Oh, we move a little bit slower than he does. I guess he didn't do anything last turn. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll skill it up. What do we got? We got... Got a rush double edge. Might be enough. Doubt it, but maybe. Oh, we broke him. Not enough to overkill, though. We just got grass that time. Are we ever gonna get the guy? No. We actually have nothing that we can use. Okay, there we go. Now it's time. Skill. Let's take you out, friend. We'll do a double edge followed by a power attack. There it is, broken hit. And then we're going to do... Can't do power crusher? Uh, we'll do... We'll do a fire blast. That just sounds cool. Alright, so we're gonna completely overkill this guy. Bam, bam. Get wrecked. So, a broken hit. We even overkilled him already, but we're, gonna, no, we're not done yet. We're gonna continue to throw stuff at him. It's fine. Alright, there we go. Four experience, four gold, four EP to TP, rank A and 120%. Sure. Do you want to save your progress? I do. So what's new, Carl? What's going on with you, buddy? <laughs> no! Tremble! I suppose I can afford you some pity. You will die quickly, without suffering. Be thankful, says Musaki. Mohammed Ganas, what's up? Wait! Welcome to the stream. Mosaka! 
Why do you point your sword at a child? You, of all people, would question me. Our orders are to kill all who would oppose us. I am only obeying them. At any rate, she is an elf. If she lives, she will trouble us later. We must destroy evil before it takes root, yes? How, how can you say that? Do you not see that your actions will only serve evil? This war is folly. It is little more than an invasion. Too late for regrets, Leon. The history of Gr Gridamas, no, of all people, is built on war. To deny that is to deny our existence. You hide your evil behind clever words. If this is the justice of Gridamas, of humanity, then I refuse to be a part of it. I renounce my humanity. Weird. To take arms against me is to take arms against Gredamas. Oh, he just pulled his spear out of his pocket. What was that? This is your last chance. Step aside and I shall forgive you. Help me. Do not fear, I will protect you. I swear it. Oh, okay. I am sorry, Musaka, but I cannot allow you to do this. Okay, sure. Battlefield looks very familiar. I feel like I'm going to be outplayed pretty hard here. Well, I suppose I'll just stay here and wait it out. What are you bringing to the table, buddy? Broken hit. Yeah, yes, I, I, I know. I, I, I'm... Okay, let's go ahead and... Do another broken hit? Because why not? That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted. I'd say, how do you like them apples? But I feel like it's not going to make much difference. I'm going to get wrecked pretty badly. Here, so. Oh, hmm. I feel like we don't really have a, a chance at winning this, but they're both going to be able to move before we are. I do want to learn about items. You can use items during battle. Unfortunately, you won't have any at the beginning of the game. Because I declined all the cool loot and stuff that we had from the DLC. Items can be purchased at shops or obtained from defeating enemies. AP is required to use an item in battle, so please do keep that in mind. Items can be used in an extended attack. I don't know what that means. Ouchie! Double ouchie! Double ouchie! Survive HP! Oh, good. I may be able to drop the fool before he kills me. Which might actually be good. We'll double edge power attack again, getting a broken hit up on this fool. And get wrecked. Ha! I got some more grass. Now I just have to survive. Okay, I need to move. Because if I don't, I am not going to live. I'd love to know how they know where I'm going to move to, since I never know where they're going to move to. I feel like that's unfair. Hmm. 
Yeah, maybe I'll just try the Sonic Wave. Why not? Oh, that was pretty legit. Ouch, the pain. That's quadruple edge there. It's got double double edge. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Well, I suppose we'll just drop this fool. We'll double edge power attack. Oh, we can't. We only have 15. Attacks 15. Two attacks. Doesn't really say what kind of damage it does. We'll try the power attack, why not? Whammy! Yeah, that that killed him. Got some more grass. Standing by. What's he gonna do? Ah, we need to move this time, friend. Prepare to end your own existence on my blade or some cool thing. The Howling Blade, that sounds cool. Let's do that. We broke him, too. Oh my goodness. That was legit. Okay, 14 experience, 60 gold, 12 e 63 gold, 12 EP, 0 TP, and 10 PP. We got PP, guys. Don't know what that means. Oh, we have 10 points to use towards stat upgrades. This influences attack and hit, defense and HP, uh, ABD and action order. Magic and resistance, I guess, and ABD and hit. Well, I think I'm gonna go a couple points there, points there, gonna get some more luck going. There we go. Actually, I only want one there. There we go. That's better. Yes, I would like to save my progress. All right, I think I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll do this for a little bit longer, see if people are enjoying it, and then I'll switch to something else. Because again, I'm not 100% sure this is what I want to do. I thought about it all week, and this is still the best choice that I came up with. Didn't really feel like I wanted to go back and play Dishonored 2 yet, maybe down the road a little bit. Um, Xenonauts was on the table. I don't really want to play that except on YouTube. It's just, I don't know. I could see me getting distracted and unfocused and just the stuff taking so much longer being on stream. Same thing with the Hom series, like maybe starting Hom 5 was an okay idea, but at the same time, I'd rather be able to just focus on it while I'm playing it on YouTube instead of, you know, back and forth a little bit. So, I don't know. I'm not sure. This is where we're at for now. We'll see. Now, this is our chance, and I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what's going to go down tomorrow between the Colonel and I, uh, myself. All right. I suppose we're running away at this point. Leon, you simple-minded fool. Why do you not finish me? Why did you save the elf? You only doom yourself. Your concern is appreciated. You just up and left. Oh, you like these type of games? All right, that's cool. You are too soft for this world, Leon. Have a care, boy, or they will eat you alive. Again, my biggest concern with this is it's from the same people that give us the Neptunia games, and they tend to be a little bit more on the risque side of things, and I don't know how much that's going to come through in this game. I, I'm i hoping it's fine, but I don't know, so I'm, I'm very tentative to move forward with it. But either way, I've been wanting to play these games for a long time. I've had them for few years now and I never really sat down and played them for any length of time. I played a little bit. I actually had this one on PS3 and then I bought all of them on Steam or goodoldgames.com so I'm a little bit bummed out because 
I spent a bunch of time doing something earlier, and it doesn't look like I can export the thing into a different mode, so I'm gonna have to basically do it over again, which is fine. Y you! Oh, it's the guy from our vision slash dream. Oh, ho! it's Melchior, the soldier who must be prepared to spill his own blood. Okay. The soldier must be prepared to spill his own blood as well as his enemies, yes? I've heard the report. I suppose I'm the only one that can stop you, huh? Well, let's not fight in vain. If you are here, then I am already surrounded. Yes, I disobeyed orders. I was wrong, and I shall take any punishment, but please, let her go. And if I refuse, then I will kill you, if that is what I must do to protect her. Stubborn, just like your father. It will be your downfall as well. Very well, we shall see just how strong you are. Dark Knight! Yes, my lord. No, you can't fight him! Please, we have to run! Run? What? But... I promised I, uh, to protect you. I will follow you soon. But you must run now. I'll be waiting for you. Don't break your promise. You won't get far on those short legs. How long can you hold out, Leon? Let's say you, Golden Leo. There we go. He won't get past me, even if it means my life. That literally makes no sense, but that's okay. I think we know how this one ends. And the answer is not well. Don't hurt, ma'am, a delicate flower. Oh, yeah, he just healed for. Oh! We knew we were gonna die. But I also tried to. I figured maybe I could at least get a hit in on. Nope. Nope, did not happen. I, I guess. I mean, I'm a crystal right now. I don't know really how much saving needs to be done there. How the mighty have fallen. I always find it hard to believe you were once royalty. Don't you agree, Leon? I could finish you off now, but you do not deserve a warrior's death. You will bleed to death like a traitor. You have nothing to blame but your own incompetence. Well, the, the Black Knight did kind of overkill me a lot, so he's also to blame. Just, you know, throwing it out there. Cannot even protect a single elven girl. My vision is going. Is this what death feels like? I failed. I couldn't stop it. I couldn't help her. If I only... I, I kind of rest my case, but it's fine. If you only had the strength... Who are you? I can grant you the power you desire. Power to make the gods themselves tremble.
Hey, she just destroyed my sword. Who, who are you? My name is Daishana. I desire equilibrium in the world. If it is strength you seek, then you must give everything to me. Not only yourself, but your descendants as well. For now, and for forever more, shall they be spirit vessels. Spirit vessels? There is little time. Choose now your soul or death. I... I made her a promise that I would protect her. If this covenant will grant me that power, the power to protect her, then I give you, Daishana, my life and the future of my soul. You have chosen well. I had hoped that you would. I bestow upon you strength and free peanuts. running sound ever. I am too late. Who's that guy? Halt! I feel like he's not a bad guy. But I've been wrong before, so... You got 440 HP to our 373... Eh, what else? Let's do this. Bring it on! Yeah. He's gonna hurt me, isn't he? Nope. Well, I mean, he will, but not yet. Bam! In your face! Eh. Oh, he missed with one of his attacks. That bodes well for me. Get flanked. I can't use Howling Blade yet. Why? Oh, because my SP is only 10. So I won't be able to use Howling Blade. Alright, that's fine. Bam! Watch down to about half HP, it looks like. Alright, here we move, buddy. And we'll just call a truce, I guess. Stop it! Both of you! Huh? What? Are you alright? He, Borgnine, protected me. A Borgnini? Niney? Where did you meet him? I'm not sure. All I know is that he shows up to help me when there are bad people around. I see. My name is Golden Leo. You have my gratitude. Thanks to you, I will be able to keep my promise. My purpose is to protect my master. Nothing more. Master, what manner of creature are you? Your curiosity must wait. If she was attacked, that means that there may still be soldiers nearby. Your words ring true. Let us find sanctuary, then. We can talk once we are safe. Come along. I do not believe I actually know your name. I'm Ellis. Ellis, a fine name. 
Where shall we go? This way seems as good as any. With luck, this path will lead us to a town or settlement. We don't need luck. I've been through this wood many times. I know the way. A fortuitous turn of events indeed. Lead the way, Alice. You can count on me. This way, my friends. Party formation, currently. Leon Hardedded is the only character in your party. You can add other characters by selecting Change Party from the menu. Then the character you wish to add. As you progress in the story, remember to adjust your party formation when you meet more characters. Or when certain party members are unable to participate in battle. Or... It's fine. In addition, only characters that participate in battle can earn EXP. Or experience. I got a basic one! Don't know what that means, but I have it. That's interesting. Camp menu. Party. Oh, I guess we have a basic uh, or, or, or formation. I guess is what we're, we're rocking here. We have good. We have good Leo here. I guess we can get Borgnine up there. And I think I'll throw her probably back on like number five. There you go, Alice. Join the squad. Okay, I feel like that's pretty okay. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna not save the game, apparently. It really isn't a save? Maybe a diary? Ah, diary. Okay. Well, there we go. Hostile battle points. Battle points. Completed. Well, it looks like there's an event. Well, let's go to the event. Alright, they need more battlefield variety. This is really samey. Bogarito. Bogaratito. What? I don't know what that means, but Bogaratito. go man there it is all right so we got our link things going how about training do you want to learn about clear bonuses sure why not when a bonus point rate is increased it'll be displayed in red it'll be displayed in blue if it is decreased fine you defeat all enemies quickly extra points will be added as a clear bonus likewise some points will be deducted if you take an exceptionally long time the higher the monsters lever lever level the larger the bonus becomes. If the monster's level is too low, some points may be deducted even if you defeat it quickly. This calculation is the difference between your highest level character and the enemy's highest level monster. It's not based on the average level of your characters. Fair enough. Alright, who goes first? It's me. Skills, let's tear this guy apart. I'm going to say double edge power attack, trick hit, and leave it at that. Oh, that's cool. And you get hit with a broom. I don't, I don't really know how I feel about that or how you should feel about that, but we'll take it. Unfortunately for them, they can't do anything. Sure. Is she back into position? And is it there for you? No. Is it there? No. It's one further up. 
Oh, it is over there. All right. Ah, that's fine. There it is. All right. You still with me, Kara? You hanging in there? I do want to learn about extra skills. Each character has unique abilities called extra skills. Extra skills require both AP and SP to use, like the Howling Blade. SP increases when you activate a skill or you receive damage. It also increases when an enemy or party member is defeated. Extra skills require a large amount of AP and SP, but they're extremely powerful. They're a necessity in a battle against powerful enemies. You'll learn the second extra skill at level 25. And the third one, when you raise your class. You raise your class, oh that's so cool, by using a Proof of Valor at level 50. This item, however, can't be used during battle. Now, we'll raise your SP high enough so you can use extra skills. Go ahead and try using them. If you can't use them, either the AP is not sufficient, or your target is outside the range of the extra skill. After making sure those conditions are met, try using the extra skill again. Well, I think we're going to annihilate these fools pretty easily here. Yeah, this is definitely something that I should play and I, I would enjoy. That's why I actually got the game back in the day. It looks really cool. It, it was kind of like a... Along the lines of Final Fantasy, Shining Force, and stuff like that. Alright, well, let's just kill everything. I'm pretty sure we can do that with a Howling Blade. I think it hits both. Let's see. Yep, killed them both, and I got overkill for it. Got some grass, some grass, no silver ore. Aww. Yay, we got 13 gold. And we're on our way to the next level. Want to go to the hidden path? I do, actually. Thank you for asking. Worst walking sound ever. This. Huh? <laughs> this rock was never here before. Perhaps that cliff collapsed, or perhaps... Dun dun dun! Wondering why this rock is here is a waste of time. We cannot go back, nor can we go around. We have no other choice but to remove this boulder so that we may go forward. The answer to this problem should be perfectly obvious. You are right. We cannot think this boulder away. We have but one way forward. This rock stands in our path. All we need is a way through it. It is a tarp. If we work together, at least some of this boulder will fall before us. Even if we cannot destroy the entire thing. Remember, friends, we must concentrate all of our blows on the same portion of rock. To arms! Hey, new battlefield. We're gonna be fighting a rock. You wanna learn about extended areas? Yeah, I do. About extended areas. Each character has link tiles, which are referred to as extended areas. By moving your characters onto a teammate's extended area, or vice versa, you can perform linked attacks, though it's good to consider the enemy's position during the move phase. It's important to be able to link characters in extended areas. Keep in mind that extended areas change with the direction each character faces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and consider moving a character onto an extended area, even if it means showing their back to the enemy. You can then attack the enemy to make your character face toward them. Fair enough. By knowing the characteristics and shape of each extended area, you can use them more efficiently. Be aware that enemies have their own extended areas, so they can also link attacks. Be careful. I just saw the solo movie today, by the way. That's alright. I'm not mad at it. Do you want to learn about extended area? Didn't we already do this? Oh, extended attacks. Oh, oh yeah. I didn't expect to fight with a rock either. Or for him to have a big dialogue about fighting the rock. It's, it's a little weird. Not gonna lie. Characters with an extended area can perform linked attacks. You can check which characters are linked by highlighting them. The character can attack regardless if it's their turn by joining the extended attack. In other words, you can make a slow character act sooner if you link them with a fast character. An extended attack occurs when a character who has linked allies takes their turn. You'll be able to control all the characters that are linked to each other. But you can also have them stand by without using skills in case you want to save AP. The primary character during this turn can stand by as well. With an extended attack, you can control only the characters you want to move. The range of an extended attack is based on each character's specific effect range. This allows a linked character who is out of attack range to come to the desired area and attack the target. Since you can use multiple characters to attack at once, you can select it many skills and activate arts easily. Keep in mind that characters won't return to their original position after the extended attack. Instead, they will stay in the position that they move to. A character will always face toward the attacked target, offer, or sorry, often leaving their back open to other enemies. Don't just blindly rush your enemies. Consider your party's positions. And potentially damage, or sorry, a potential damage they may occur, incur after the extended attack and command your character support it. Um, I don't know, it's weird. It probably did flop the box office, but it wasn't as bad as it was probably supposed to or going to be. Uh, it was plagued with a lot of production and just creative issues all throughout, so the fact that they got made at all even close to the correct time frame was a miracle in and of itself. It was an okay movie. It wasn't great. It wasn't uh, game changing or groundbreaking. It was fine. You know, it was what it was. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know why. Like, it did well for like the first week, and then it did okay, but it didn't really stay. It wasn't like uh, we'll say like Black Panther, for instance. That one stayed for like six weeks to a month, or sorry, to two months, and it was still doing pretty decently. To about the six week mark. Even Avengers and Deadpool 2 both had very, very short lifespans. However, we also had multiple showings in the area that I live in. We had, uh, for Avengers, we had three theaters at our theater, and then the one the next town over, which is like 10 minutes away, also had three showings. So that's six times however many days. I mean, there was a lot of showings, so that could be why. Hey, Liven. Long time no see, buddy. How you doing? Did you um, get your internet working? How's the hip going? Okay, so we need to position... Ooh. Okay. Two here. And now we're all linked. Yeah, we'll end the move phase. I don't think the rock is going to move, so we're pretty good on that front. Alright, let's go bust some rock, I guess. I think I know what I do. Uh, power attack. What does impulse do? Attacks the target with an impulse wave. Die. Maybe? I, I don't... Trick it? Great internet, but your son dropped the razor phone down the to- You still have a razor phone? 
Didn't they stop making those like over a decade ago? Yeah, like 13 years ago? Something like that? Ah, and you have it scheduled already. Well, that's good. Well, hopefully there's no problems with that. Now, I'm not saying that they're bad phones, because in their day they were like the phone to get, but eh, I, I was never in love with the Razer. So no love lost there. I can't reach with you. Hmm. Well, I'm curious. I want to see how this actually works out. Or... No, I can't do that. Yeah, let's see how this works out. She, since she's got... Hmm. Yeah, I'll worry about breaks. Yeah, I am. I have a phone now. It's not my favorite, but it works. And look, I don't know if you guys can see this, you should be able to. Let's say, look at that. That's right. I have my own logo on my phone. It's pretty sick, right? Now all you can. Oh, I know that's all you can see. Trying to angle it so it doesn't pick up the other thing. Anyway, that's pretty cool. So I threw that onto my phone for my uh, my screensaver thing. So I thought that was pretty neat. I was I was bored one day. I'm like, you know, I have the generic basic everything. Let's customize a little bit. So I went about doing that. It was pretty neat. I'm doing okay. Feeling feeling okay lately. Uh, well, I say that. I, I actually haven't felt good most of the week. I, I'm doing better now, so I'm feeling okay now. Most of the week I just felt like miserable, not feeling super good. However, we got something planned for tomorrow, the Colonel and I, and I'll give you guys a sneak peek here in a little bit. Let's see here. Besides HP, enemies have endurance points that indicate the level of their resistance against your attacks. An enemy with high HP will usually have high endurance points. Fair enough. Endurance points are lowered by damage, so an enemy whose endurance is reduced to nothing will enter a break state. When an opponent is in this state, you will deal more damage. Makes sense. If the target is a break state, break arts will be triggered by an art, such as broken hit. And activate break arts. Okay, break arts deal more hits and more damage than normal arts. Break points are set for each weapon and skill. These points increase as follows. Arts then normal skills and extra skills, and then special arts. Breakpoints are normally higher for weapons with higher attack power and skills with lower hit counts. Okay, makes sense. Ah, okay. I didn't know the Razer had internet. I didn't think he had... It didn't, blah, 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 blah. I don't think it even had a like LCD display or... LED or whatever it is. Uh, maybe once the Razer stopped being popular, they kept making it you know, all the way into the smartphone line. I'm trying to think, it's been it's been a long time. Do they still make them? Are they are they still like being made? Oh, it's not the Motorola Razer. Oh, is it is it a Razer like the gaming company Razer? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, that makes more sense. But I didn't know they made phones, so either way, I'm getting schooled right now. Breakpoints are normally higher for weapons, yeah, 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 with lower, so heavier weapons cause more break damage, makes sense. So if you want to put an enemy in a break state efficiently, use great swords or guns and activate extra skills or skills with less hits first, then use arts. Be on your guard since breakpoints also apply to your characters. If one of them ends up in a break state, they'll be on, they'll be the one on the receiving end, makes sense. Yep. See how I said that? I called it, man. I called it. I am all over that junk. Oh, I, I did miss your, uh, no, the Razer gaming phone one. 
Because I, I read Kara's line, I didn't see that one earlier. Okay, gotcha. gotcha, gotcha. Okay, skills. Hmm. What in the world are we going to do here? So we want to use... Does it show the break damage? It does. 180 break. 140 break. And 70 break. Yeah, they are all linked, even though they're linked different. Okay, that's cool. 181, 115, these impulse. And then 150, 95, and 170. All right, power attack. Let's do it. We're trying to break a rock. Oh, we did. We did break the rock. Mildly impressive. Is it only for this one turn, though? Well, we destroyed the rock. It was your Christmas present to you. Cause you deserved it, man. Oh, we got some stuff. Yeah, so that's um, that that's rough. Yeah, that I got I got dropped in the toilet. So yeah, is it? Is it salvageable? Is it under warranty, or it's just gone? Why was your, why was your child with the phone? You should slap your child. Don't slap your child. But that's that's not great. How does like I've heard people do that, and I've even seen like in movies and stuff. But how how do you drop a phone in a toilet? That I mean that takes like. Like a whole other level of just carelessness or clumsiness. Like I can't fathom dropping my phone in a toilet ever. This couldn't happen unless maybe it was in like a, a sweatshirt pocket and I walked by a toilet and it just happened to fall out. But I mean, short of that, and that wouldn't happen because I wouldn't put my phone in a sweatshirt pocket. But still, short of something like that, I, I, how, how do you drop your phone in a toilet? So did they give you a replacement, or...? Hmm. That's unfortunate, man. Sorry to hear that. That's far less... It's far less, uh... Meh than losing a uh, Motorola Razor from... Uh, 2004, 2005. I feel like you probably wouldn't be super upset that that one fell in the toilet. Probably still a little bummed out, but... Like, was he just, like, in the bathroom doing, like, some sort of dance thing with his phone and just, bloop, fell on the toilet? Like, I don't get it. I don't understand how that happens. The bridgehead to the frontier is ours. All we need to do now is realign the troops and make our attack. Oh, put on a shelf when he got something in the Don't let your kid play with the phone. Was an army of that scale really necessary? What a strange thing to hear. And from you, of all people, Largan, or Largin, or Lar... Lar... Largian? Largan? I got it. Have you forgotten about Hovos? Hovos, I like it. Uh, do you not remember how much we lost in our attack on that puny settlement? Sirium and the elves are relics of the past. They, along with their heretical powers, shall fall. Do you not agree? I do not agree. You are correct, of course. But this campaign is stretching our resources to the limit. That is why it shall be a quick battle. Strength must be focused to be effective. Spreading our forces too widely will not serve our purpose. Our countrymen will need convincing if they are to supply us with reinforcements. This, <laughs> this battle is successful, our case will be made. Will you help me? Very well. Yeah, that sucks, man. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, in totally unrelated news to the things that are happening with toilets and such, um, 
anybody has a PlayStation 4 and they didn't get Disgaea 1 on PC, I think they're doing a remastered Disgaea 1 Complete on the PS4. I don't know exactly what all that's going to entail, and I'm not 100% sure I'm going to see if I can get my hands on it, but I might, because it could be interesting, could be fun. So, there you go. You put them on eBay. <laughs> Sell them. All right, I need to I need to change the, uh, the system settings here if that's possible. It does not look like it's possible right now. So, oh gosh, what did I do? Oh. One thing I don't like about the there we go. One thing I don't like about the PS4 controller is it's got that touchpad in the middle, and if you press that, it, it minimizes a lot of games. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit more reasonable. I know it's been a bit loud this entire time. I apologize. Alright, let's continue on. Oh, no, I do have to actually fight that. So I believe there's... The stuff that I read about the game that I, I know, or at least I think I know about the game is... That we're going to basically be finding multiple people, obviously. We're going to have a party. There's going to be several people. But we're going to build like, I'm assuming, romantic bonds with some of them, or one specific person. And then we're going to actually have kids with that person. And then that's going to be like the next part of the story. Your de your descendants, your children are going to grow up. And there's going to be a whole new tale that's still going to tie into what's going on now. So it would be, I'm guessing, like time lapses and stuff. It's really a weird and interesting idea. It's been a long time since I've read, like, the, the back of the box, or, in this case, the, uh, I don't know, the, the store page. But still, as his mom made things stop. So you put her on instead, uh-huh. Uh, hold on, let me make sure I'm saving this video file. That way, uh, your wife will have proof of uh, you trying to get rid of her later down the line. Alright, we need to prepare for chaos here. It doesn't matter for her link right now. I'm just basically gonna chill here. Like, no, no videographic proof. Don't betray me, Bumpy. Don't betray me. Oh, you can reach me. That's not cool. <laughs> oh, here's some cool news I get to share with you guys. Um, earlier this week, I got an email from somebody. Toby. Shout out to Toby. I got an email from Toby. And he said that he really enjoyed my XCOM. He binge watched my XCOM Let's Play. I'm not sure if it was the Long War One or XCOM Two or what, but you know, he said it was a lot of fun. He really enjoyed it, and he he was un, un, it was unfortunate or he was unhappy or whatever. He he missed out on the uh, fundraiser that I did. Well, it was about two months ago now. I, I don't remember exactly. Yeah, it was right around my birthday. So yeah, about two months ago. And he said that he wanted to, you know, send something my way. So he asked how, you know, what the best way to do that is. And if you guys notice, down below on the Twitch page, I actually have a donation button directly through PayPal. So you guys don't have to necessarily subscribe through... And I'm not asking you guys to do anything. I'm just letting you know this is stuff that I finally finished and done and figured out. But you can donate directly to my PayPal account. So it's probably the least amount that's going to be taken from me. Like, Patreon doesn't take that much. Twitch takes a bit more. A lot more. Over half. And um, PayPal takes the least amount. Anyway, there's a donation button. I did that for Twitch. I did that for YouTube now. So both of those are working. Anyway, he sent me 100 CHF, which I had no idea what that was. So I had to look it up. It's um, I totally forgot what it stands for now. It's some sort of franc. It's Switzerland money, I think. So, yeah. He sent me basically $130 Canadian, which I got 122 of, which was really, really cool and really, really nice. So, shout out to you, Toby. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. That was uh, above and beyond, and it was really cool. So, much appreciation. So, it turned out that my, uh, 
My efforts weren't totally in vain to raise a few funds. Swiss, maybe? Okay, sorry. Like, like I said, I don't remember exactly. I tried to, but it just did not stay in my head. All right, so we're all we're all set up. We're gonna pretty much just try to murder this guy. Probably get attacked from behind, but not until after we take this guy and slap him around a little bit. Oh, they're all linked too. That's that's interesting. All right, so let's go with that power attack and a trick hit. That should be enough to take him down, I think. It's, is it a Swiss something, Swiss Royal Frank or something like that? I, and I don't know how that's CHF, unless that's something in, like, a, a Swiss currency, or, like, pronunci- I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. Not really gonna complain. But yeah, that was, that was, that was awesome, so. Alright, so we took him out, he's down. The only thing I wish you could do at this point is if you stand by, you could like reposition or reface your characters, but this is fine. Um, well, I don't have a lot of, um, I'm not subscribed to a lot of YouTube channels, and I usually check the channels that I do watch pretty much every day anyway, but I'm still getting like on the left hand side. I'm still getting like, oh, such and such channel has one new video or two new videos. So, ooh, we kind of got beat down there. That's not great. I think I'm probably going to have to retreat a bit here. Does she not have? She doesn't. Okay. Alright, buddy. You're gonna you're gonna take the the beating here a little bit. Yeah, so I don't I don't know how notifications are working. Uh, I've had kind of an up and down week as far as uploads. I had several on a few days, and then I had very few the last couple days. And I should be increasing again over the weekend, and then going into the start of the week, you should be getting a bunch more. Uh, like I have a lot of stuff pre-recorded, but it's a lot of the same things. So like Pillars of Eternity. Palm 3, and I don't remember the other, uh, Far Cry 5, and there's like one or two others that are a lot. And then there's other ones that I want to do more of, so I can keep kind of cycling through a bunch, right? Instead of just having the same, like, three over and over again. Which isn't bad either, mind you. I mean, that's also good. Divinity Original Sin 2 is another one that I have a lot of. So... Um, I don't know if... YouTube changed. I know, like, everybody's like, oh, you gotta click the bell now. Maybe that's a thing you have to do. I don't know. Like I said, I don't specifically have any notifications that I'm aware of. Like, I don't get email notifications, really, of people having new stuff out, so. Alright, let's throw a heal. And we should be able to kind of just destroy these guys next time. I'm going to try a Blast Rush. I don't know what that's going to do. Or maybe we find one of those new uh, skills. Nope. I think we're going to get beat down a little bit here, though. Alright. Hopefully Borg-9 is going to be fine. Or, or Borg Borgnini or something. I have no idea. Whatever his name is. He should be able to tank this. Alright, Leon, let's go and get this done with. Everybody else can stay right where they're at, I think. And if Leon gets to go first, which is my hope, he should. He's got, like, max AP. We should be able to just cook this fool with, um, yeah, the Howling Blade. Should be it. I don't know if it's going to hit our own guy. I don't think we have allied damage. Nope, they're dead. Sweet. 
so that I know a lot of channels are always like, oh, make sure you subscribe and then hit that bell for notifications. So it could just be that. Maybe you have to have bells now to get the the um, notifications. I don't know. Like, I, I hate having to say like, subscribe, share, and all that stuff. I try to only do it early on in the series now. I used to do it for every video, and it's just, ugh, I hate it. People will subscribe if they want to. They'll like the video if they want to. I don't mind doing it like one or two episodes in. It's kind of, you know, it gives me a little bit of a boost. Or at least it used to. I don't know if it still does anymore, but yeah. You know, that whole thing. I also found out that my PlayStation 3 has something with it that I can't use my capture card that I got unless I get a splitter that will cancel out the thing that it has. It's like... It's like DCHD or something, or DPHD or something like that, and I guess it's like some sort of high definition bypass thing. Anyway, basically, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to override that, and I'll need to get like another ten dollar splitter or something for HDMI cable, and then I should be able to use my PS3 also on my Elgato capture card, which. I sort of want to do. There's a few games. On, I mean, I have a whole bunch of PS3 games. There's a few that I would not mind. My dog's sleeping. She's still not feeling good. She still has fluid in her nose and stuff. And we went to the vet, and I just feel like the vet doesn't know what they're talking about, which is stupid because I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. But still, oh, you did the bell, and it still stopped. Yeah, that's unfortunate, man. Uh, well. Maybe try unsubscribing and resubscribing. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Anyway, uh, there's a few games that I would like to play on uh, the PS3, maybe on the channel as well. I was a little bummed out when I found out that the less good capture card, the, uh, what is it? I don't remember what they're called now. The H60, the HD60. I have the HD60S. The HD60, which is definitively worse than the 60S, um, it actually works with the PS3, whereas the 60S, which is much better, like zero latency, like when I'm covering stuff, the things that I've done so far, uh, from the PS4, I'm literally watching the preview screen on OBS as my monitor. So there's zero latency. Normally there would actually be like a second, half a second, two seconds, somewhere in that range of, uh, lag, and there's like legitimately zero lag so I don't actually have the PS4 connected in any way to my computer it's only connected into the capture card which then goes through USB so it's pretty cool I did I did well at, at sussing out the right thing to get so I'm pretty happy about it who would have thought that there could be a town in a place like this that also means that I can now use my computer monitor without having to get a splitter or a bunch of like buttons and stuff to press or unplugging and replugging in um, stuff to actually use my monitor for my PS4 or PS3 eventually. So, cool stuff. High bandwidth digital content protection. There you go, HDCP, that's it. One sec. Sorry. Um, yeah, so that is causing me issues for recording. And I had to turn off that setting in on the PS4, which there is a toggle thing on PS4, like you just set a setting and it just turns it off. So, otherwise I need to get a splitter that bypasses that. So, there you go. Uh, who would have thought there could be a town in a place like this? I live just beyond Slumber Forest to the east. We should make preparations here. Yes, a good, a good night's sleep would do us good. If that is your decision, then I have no objections. Why doesn't she fight? I know she's some sort of like weird mystical goddess or whatever, but... You'd think that would be useful in a battle. Just saying. I see. Well, if uh, Daishana doesn't mind, I would like to do a little shopping. Do you have money? This way, Leo. Um... Very well. Silver ore times four. Also, I know that Twitch has its own little weird issues where it does not like to do the things that it's supposed to do. It's, it's very frustrating. Like, Twitch doesn't do the notifications on that either. Like, it's supposed to. 
It's also supposed to notify on on YouTube that I'm live streaming. Hold on a second, guys. I've been wanting to do this for a while. And I don't know that I can do this. Huh. Oh dear, what am I doing? Sorry, I'm doing the wrong things. Is it this? No. There it is. There you go. I've been wanting to do this for a while. You you hadn't showed up in a, about a week, so I know you were doing the switch over with your internet and everything else. So, and honestly, last Saturday I didn't do the stream, and the Monday before that I didn't do the stream. I really felt sick last weekend, so I'm doing better this weekend. Anyway, you now have mod status. I, I mean, we don't have terrible people in our chat, so we don't have to worry about it, but. Pretty much most of my regulars are uh, yeah, able to drop the band hammer, so it's good stuff. Alright, Silver Ore collected. Fragment of Life collected. 50 EP, 20 PP, 2000 G. Oh boy. That looks like a lot of information. Anyway, have a good night, Liven. I appreciate you stopping by and doing what you do. Uh, hopefully you get your phone situation sorted out and you don't go back and buy a 2005 Motorola Razor. Replace your $700 gaming Razer phone because that would just be terrible. All right. Oh, there's going to be so many things I'm going to have to read. Apparently, I need to eat because my stomach is making sounds. I think that means I'm hungry. I, I don't. I don't know. Welcome. We have everything you need from weapons to skills. If you're setting out, please stop by. Welcome, young sir. Thank you. You can find weapons, armors, accessories, armors, armor, accessories, and skills here. You can also select what you need and how many you want to buy. Oh, by the way, if nobody knows, GOG.com, G-O-G.com, is still running a really big uh, sale. So if there are any older games, and they do have some newer games, go check out GOG and get some. I think I got something recently. I don't remember what it was. Shows you how impressive and important it was. I am going to look. There was something I wanted and I got it and I don't remember what it was now because of course I don't. I actually think I got I got a free game. I got Ziggurat for free. Oh, and they also had Xenonauts for free for a while. I think I messaged people and told them. But no such no such luck. I don't know if, how many people actually grabbed it. Um, so I got Ziggurat. I got Sunless Sea for free because I spent a little bit of money. I have the disc, though it's not in the greatest of condition. I know I still have a CD that still plays. Uh, Lords of Magic is an old school game. I really enjoyed it back in the day. Maybe I'll play it one day um, on stream, but decided not to. And then I know I have one or two of the new Realms of Arcania, but they seem so different when I was looking at like what they were originally to what the new ones are. So I grabbed the originals, and I might play around with those a bit, and that might, like, inspire me or give me the spark to actually go and play the new remastered, like, redone versions of the game. I also got Xanadu Next, which is just, uh, I think it's a game from Nyon Falcom. I'm not 100% sure on that one. I got Beyond Divinity, Divine Divinity. I have, I had both of those on discs, and I might even have them somewhere around the house. But I wasn't sure if I did, so... I was like, you know what, I will probably play those one day, so we'll see. So now I have the entire Divine Divinity or Divinity collection except the Dragon Rider one. So yeah, that's what I spent. It was like 20 bucks, I think, total I spent. Me getting stuff for, I won't say for cheap, but just good stuff. I reinstalled uh, Xenonauts. There's very possibly, I, I, I don't want to guarantee or promise because I don't know for sure, but I may be going back to some of my roots, and I may be playing a second season of Xenonauts, maybe? And I think I will be starting up Battle Brothers, the last season, season one of the full release. I might be starting that up again soon. So, yeah. Stuff to look forward to. You can also select what you need, to, what you need and how many you want to buy. I recommend you use it when you stock up on items that recover health like grass. 
There's a limit to how many of each item you can possess though, so you can't make a purchase if it'll exceed that amount. Please keep that in mind. Also, new items may become available if you select alchemy at a blacksmith's guild or skill research at an adventurer's guild. The only remake you're looking forward to is Resident Evil on Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I don't know. I'm so concerned that people are going to hate the Final Fantasy VII remake. Because it's not Final Fantasy VII. From everything that I've seen and heard, it's not. Which is fine, because like I said, I've, I've said this before, I, I'm not a massive fan of the... Um, I don't know if it's the action timer battles, active time battles, whatever it is, where you have the timer. And I know people have told me I didn't realize it, and I haven't gone back and tried it yet, but I didn't realize back in the day that you could turn it to true turn-based combat on Final Fantasy VII. If I would have known that, I would have probably played through it and defeated it. But I'm just very concerned that they're going to change story, they're going to change the gameplay completely, which I think they've already done. And, I don't know, I think they're just going to upset a whole bunch of people. Cool. Yeah, so I, I've been kind of wanting to play it again. I know there's a second Xenonauts being made. The Kickstarter is going to actually start soon, too. So when I get information on that, I will definitely um, post it somewhere and let people know. I was a little bummed out. I was, um, I was on Twitter, and somebody, Scott Manley, said something. Nothing against Scott Manley. I think he's... He's a pretty big YouTuber, obviously. Um, he was really my only competition for a very, very long period of time on Xenonauts. For whatever reason, I don't know why to this day, I was successful on Xenonauts and I got high rated on searches. I was number one for over a year. It was, it was literally my breakthrough game to get me to where I managed to get to. And anyway, Scott Manley had said something about Xenonauts 2 coming out or whatever. And then... The developer is like, oh, oh, I finally found you. I, I was trying to get your contact information. I don't have any old emails or, or private messages from you. And I was just, I wasn't able to, I was going to get in contact with you to see if you would want to cover it. And I'm thinking, I've replied directly to your, <laughs> I replied directly to your, um, your actual tweets about the game and it going into Kickstarter and everything else. And you haven't even acknowledged that I exist. And I was number one for a long time. I just, it just if it, it was a little bit of a low blow. I get it, seven hundred thousand or whatever subscribers that he's got versus my ten k. Like I get it, but it still sucked. It was a little bit painful. If I had a lot of pride, that would have probably hurt a lot more. But I don't. <laughs> it's fine. All right. So please come see us when we have new items in stock. I'm sure I'll still get my hands on the game. And I imagine he probably has my email and all the contact information, so that's probably why he didn't, you know. Whatever, it's just, it, it sucked in the, in the moment, you know. Oh boy, there's a lot of stuff. Broom wand, really? That's, that's... Hmm. Right bumper switches info. I want to see, does it compare... item details because I'd like to compare what I have wait, wait, wait how is the hi kitty what are you doing you're still not feeling good are you baby no poor thing it's okay it's okay stay there I'll cover your head up so you don't have to hear my loud voice Unfiltered. Ready? <laughs> Sorry. My, my dog is still... I guess she still isn't feeling great. Alright, I guess maybe we should... Um, equipment... Oh! It shows who we can... Oh, it does! It does! Okay. So we gain magic. Alright, that's cool. If we gain magic, we lose physical attack. Alright. Iron sword is what we're using. A fleurette. Lowers our magic a little bit, but we increase our attack, which is probably fine. An iron blade is even more so. 
See, I don't know how I feel about things like that. That, that kind of, that always bothers me a little bit. When you get stuff that, is it really an upgrade? I mean, you're gearing toward more attack or more magic. I guess you could use skills that are a bit more one way or the other, but at the same time, why can't we just have stuff that's better in every category? Maybe give me a plus 10 in magic, but give me a plus 40 in actual physical attack, and then have the inverse where I get a plus 10 in attack and a plus 40, you know? I guess as we go through, still. Bring the wood, we will burn this guy. No, it's fine. It's fine. We get more to hit. Oh, and it changes our skill too, I'm noticing at the bottom there. We get an extra skill with this one. It We get empty skill. <laughs> or we have a skill slot, I guess. I, I'll probably go with the Iron Blade, honestly. Yeah, I, I, well, I want... Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. I guess we already spent it. I was, I was hoping we'd actually get to do multiple things, but that's fine. Uh, who's the iron knife? No one. Iron spear, no one. The iron rod. Eh. The iron knuckles are his. Iron break? We don't have a handgun, a scythe. Okay, so that's pretty much that. Let's go to armor. Eh. We have 11 grass. Uh, restores 25% of our max HP. Gets rid of sleep, poison, paralysis, and blind. Resurrect them with 25% of their HP. Beginner weapons? What is that? A book written about creating items. Oh. So we buy these things and it'll allow us to begin to craft items at the various things? A book written about the secret arts that can be achieved only by the highly skilled new arts can be learned. There's a lot here. There's a lot to unwrap. Um, let's go with basic smithing. Beginner smithing. It's expensive, but I think it's probably the right call. Um, sure. I'm gonna go with a lot of the beginner's stuff. I'm hoping that that just helps us in general. Um, and there's skills. No skills are actually available. Okay. So, how do I... Equipment. Uh, we'll go with the Iron Blade. It's gonna give us... Oh, I had it backwards. Okay, so the red is the increase and the, the, the decrease. Okay, that makes sense. The decreases in blue. That's weird. It's almost always the other way. It's fine. Okay. Wait, we got. What is that? We didn't get anything else, right? Alright, that's fine. Uh, I guess we go to the Blacksmith's Guild. You're a first time customer, ain't you? I can enhance your weapons and armor if you want. I can forge some new stuff too if you bring me a smithing manual and some materials. Ho oh, ho, what brings you here today? You know that EP you gain when you defeat enemies? Yeah. Well, I can strengthen your equipment in exchange for that. 
Choose what you want to enhance from your equipment or active skills. I'll do my best to upgrade them, but they can only go as high as level 5. Also, there are some active skills that just can't be enhanced, so don't bother me with those. Any reinforced equipment will have increased damage, defense, and or AP. So don't go skimping on upgrades if you want to use more skills in battle. Oh yeah, one more thing. Once an equipment reaches level 5, you can convert it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Weapons become materials for smithing. Accessories and armor become materials for active skills. You'll lose the equipment once you convert it, though. So don't do that to something you still need. Well, you're the one who decides if you convert something. So I guess it's not my problem. Oh, we have a decent amount of EP. Well, we got the iron blade. Let's go ahead and crank that up. Let's see, what are we getting? Our magic is going up, our hit is going up, and our attack is going up. Yeah, I'm okay. I mean, we could enhance all the way. I feel like that's a little overkill for now, so we're going to go this way. Iron Blade is a great sword made of iron, so there you go. I don't like the broom one, but I mean, I guess. Let's double down on upgrades all the way through. There we go. Okay, I, I did have the the books. How do I use these? Maybe I have to go back to the guy? Nope. Alright, to the Adventurer's Guild. Welcome to the Adventurer's Guild. Our guild develops useful skills for your travels and bestows titles and goodies based on your achievements. Let us know if you need something. Hit score of 9, our best score is 935. We bestow titles depending on achievements, items, gold, and progress through your adventure. Please be aware that the requirements for each title varies, and you won't be able to add it to your list until you satisfy its condition. Some conditions may even require the acquisition of other titles. See if you satisfy the requirements for items and G by looking at the list. Now, I should warn you to check titles with multiple requirements first. Many travelers miss out on titles because they accidentally use their required items first. And lastly, we don't count items that are equipped. Please keep that in mind when you check the list. I think that you have the book allowed you, or having the book allowed you to upgrade the blacksmith. Maybe. Or at the blacksmith. Maybe. Uh, Daredevil? This is really slow. Come on. Beginner. Muscle flesh, flexor, flesh, score. Is there a quicker way of doing this? Oh. Oh, look at that. Do it all. Enhance 100 times. Beat 100 monsters. So we don't actually have any of these unlocked. Oh, that, I don't know. Scroll through 100 and something. Gosh. Attain honorary, honorary titles. Well, that's not all that useful. First aid. Welcome! Do any of you need my assistance? My love will cure what ails you. What are we talking about here? Welcome! Uh, I think we're good. Thanks! Oh, we can use the the PP. Pee -pee. All right. Okay, I think that's good for you. Uh, 
I imagine Ellis is probably going to stick around for a while, so... Get a little bit more luck and agility. Looks like review point. I'm wondering if uh, revive point. I got you. Yeah, yeah. I'm say I'm, I'm wondering if uh, the people will die if they'll allow us to actually bring them back, or maybe they get cursed or poisoned or something like that. I don't know. If, it seems like after every battle we get fully healed. I don't know if that's going to be the case. I think, if I'm not wrong, when we go into the one of these areas coming up, we will have to fight multiple battles. Like we'll actually be able to walk around. There'll be random battles and other battles that we can like take. And I think while we're in that area, the entire area, we don't heal. So we'll have to use items to heal. But like on the world map and events and stuff, we do heal between. Something along those lines. Alright, I'm just going to go ahead and give you one point there. Do you want to sort by level? I mean, level 2 and level 1, it's, it's not that complicated. Alright, um, I guess we're gonna go to the field. Uh, you know what, we're not gonna do that yet. We're gonna go back here. I'm gonna sell this sword of iron. Uh, yeah, yeah, sell them in bulk. Nobody cares. I also know I have the ability or the potential to not sell it and to break it apart, so. I'm gonna get some more grass. I'm gonna go up to ten. That's super expensive. Alright, we're not gonna get that many. We're gonna get four. I don't realize how much that cost. Alright. I got new skills. With I did? Oh, okay. Let's go take a look at that. I don't know how that works. Maybe I have a, a new skill space, but I don't think I have any new skills to put in there. There was none to actually buy. Okay. Onward. Another battle. I like that my sword is actually visible. Alright, bring it on, folks. Yeah, I'll end the move phase. Let's do it. What you gonna do? I think you're gonna stand by. And then I think you... Probably gonna do some of the, of the merds. Do a little bit of double edge there, a little bit of power attack, and maybe, maybe we'll do a little bit of impulse. Hmm, yes. It said bless. Look where you added skill points. Oh. Alright, I'll check here in a minute after the, the battle. Ah! Break! Alright, he done got broked. Yeah, I got That's all you got. Fool. Alright. So if we do that, she's going to move to here. She can't box booby. Oh well. Alright, it's fine. So we're going to move here, I suppose. Actually, what if... No. Alright, it's fine. She might still be able to hit something from further away. Yeah, I'll check Bless. 
Kazumi Zamahizo. What? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Should be more than enough to take care of this guy. Or girl. It's a bit ambiguous at this point. Actually, we were fine without the extra help there. Mm. Oh, cool. We can do more. Interesting. Let's see if we can't overkill this fool. Spiced, diced, and made unniced. That was super underwhelming. Don't use trick hit. Overkill. We're gonna get some silver ore out of this. Grass. Oh, we didn't get some little more. I'll take the A rank. Hey, double level ups. Alright, well, we'll do that in a minute. We got 10 points. Oh, I see. So there's certain stats that they're better at than others, and it takes less points. So where did you see Bless? A Willpower Blessing. I wonder what Willpower is. I can't seem to really do anything with that, but it's there. You are not wrong. Willpower means. Alright, let's see if we can't figure that out. Ah, oh, here we go. Increases the ex experience and EP gain by 50%, so it's a passive. Okay. Or it has to be trigger triggerable. 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 29. 29. That's weird. I'll assume. Oh, cool! They have the little, uh, little Pentagon uh, thing there. Okay, that's fairly legit. I like it. So does that mean? That each one of these, uh, I guess, around the 20 point mark, is going to actually have an extra skill of some sort. That's pretty neat. I'm done. All right. So we're about done anyway. Yeah, I think you know what. I think I will break it off here, and the uh, I, we'll continue playing this. I, I don't mind. Like I said, this is something I've been wanting to play. I wasn't sure how well it'd be received. I still don't know how well it is received right now. I also am missing something on my screen, which is fine. I think I closed something on accident. That's that's okay. So. Either way, yeah, I think I will uh, I'll continue this, and again, unless something pops into my head and I'm like, that's what I should play, then I won't I won't change it. So this is it for now, guys and gals. We're going to be playing Agarest War, the Generations of War, I guess, or Record of Agarest, or some Japanese name that I probably can't pronounce. And we'll play through it. If people like it, I'll continue on with the second one and then go back to Zero, which I think is a prequel to the first one. It's a little confusing, but it's fine. And again, this is by what is it, Idea Factory, Compile Heart, Ghost Light, and a couple other companies that kind of all conglomerated together. I'm just hoping that it doesn't get to be a bit too crude, as Idea Factory and Compile Heart tends to be. It's still amateurish. It's not you know super hardcore or anything bad like that. It's a little a little too risque for what I like to showcase. But I'm hoping that it's it's okay. We'll see. You saw what the the goddess. Daishana, whatever her name is. She's a little scantily clad. It's stuff like that and beyond. I, we'll, we'll see. 